Hey, how's it going YouTube? What is up today? I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently. This is a video log. My name is LG Allied now. That's right, Luminosity Gaming Allied. I'm here to tell you the story of, well, how I beat stage 4 cancer. So, um, I apologize if I sound weird right now. Um, I'm not trying to make too much noise, but at the same time, I am taking chemotherapy and I'm slowly starting to lose my voice. Hopefully it's something crazy. Oh, we'll, we'll see what happens. But regardless, I'll, I'll try to get through this quickly. And if you guys don't believe me, I'll show you real quick. I have to, to take chemotherapy. Um, chemotherapy is a poison. Now, this is to not only prevent cancer, but to stop any kind of cancer growths. If, you know, a tumor was growing, whatever the case is. And because you can't take it through your normal veins and arteries and all that good shit i have to i had surgically installed in my chest up to my neck down to like you know my other organs it's a line that basically has to deal with the chemotherapy coming through because the poison's so potent it'll it'll crack and yeah it'll straight crack in you like there's no if ands or buts about it so here it is. Uh, this is kind of what I deal with. I apologize for my dad bod. Honestly, I, I have scars and stuff all around, but this is the line, and I have not hooked up to a bottle. I take a bottle of chemotherapy. On top of the chemotherapy, I take it to the hospital for two days. Now, the goal of this bottle and the chemotherapy is, because I already told you I don't have cancer, it's because, oh, well, I had stage four cancer. Um, so crazy that it, it, it would spread within a week of not taking chemotherapy that's why i have to take it every other week because god forbid i miss a session i literally fuck myself i this happened before i had a setback oh, my liver stopped working a tumor grew in the main artery and decided you know what we're gonna stop all functions of the liver because that's what cancer does it takes control of your organs and and it's like you're not gonna work anymore brody so obviously this is how i got lung cancer it's because my liver was like, yo, Brody, let's give you some lung cancer. So all the shit, the, the, the cancer, the everything decided to beeline it right to my lungs because it has to go somewhere, right? So I ended up waking up one day suffocating, grabbing my throat. And I, I'm telling you, I, this was the end for me. I was 100% I was done. So, But luckily, my mom rushed me to the hospital. Um, it's the middle of the morning, it's like 5 a.m. I just woke up. I could not breathe anymore. Couldn't. It's in massive pain. Turned out my lungs were filled up all the way to the point of suffocation. They had to uh, insert lung pumps and long story, long story. I won't get too far into it, but that's kind of uh, it's, there's there's been setbacks and just like anything, there's setbacks to everything that you do. There's always gonna be a problem that you have to figure out and solve because that's just human nature. You gotta be able to advance, right? Regardless, the, the story here is good. Um, I, I have bad news and good news, but I'll go over the bad news later because it's not as important as, well, I, I did beat cancer. It's done. No trace of it left in my body right now. Obviously, has a great chance of coming back due to cancer stem cells and coming back wherever the fuck. Shit, popping my brain, popping my balls, wherever the case it wants to come through. Um, it's done. It's, uh, it's over with, right? So... And if you guys are wondering, I'm watching a YouTube video myself. I'm so fucking cute. Holy shit. Like, how do I do it? Apologies if I look like shit, by the way. Apologies. So, yeah, that's that's basically where I'm at. So now, um, I did a scan about a week ago. In the scan, they were like, yo, Brody, um, there's, you know, we'll see how your, your uh, cancer's doing. But I've been feeling really good lately. If you guys know, I've been streaming for a really long time now. And I'm getting back into shape on working out every morning i try to do like 50 crutches 50 push-ups and other shit just to kind of keep myself going because i can't go to the gym and i can't use weights because weights are too heavy and i'm not saying that isn't too heavy as in i have because of chemotherapy one of the side effects is you can't use your hands anymore i can't properly grip a weight which means i'm prone to dropping it so i can't use weights it's cool right so on top of that um i can't use weights and i can't walk so any kind of cardio is completely out of the question when I can barely walk as is anyway. I can barely balance myself. One of the I haven't felt or used my feet in months. 
I couldn't tell you the last time I've had, like, usually you put in a brain input, right? And it's like, alright, left toe move. And it's like, pretty straightforward, you know, you know how it feels, like, you don't have to really explain it, you don't have to say it. All you have to do is subconsciously think about it. You're not really, that's not the major focus, right? That's not your focus, but you can subconsciously just, like, you move your fucking toe, right? I don't know how to do that anymore. I've lost complete function of my feet and hands. There's certain hand I can't write anymore, for example, right? If I'm given a pen, I can't hold it properly because I can't bend certain ways. There's certain things about my hands I realize I can't do anymore. It's the same reason why I have a really hard time playing Super Smash Bros. on stream is because um, it's hard for me to grip a controller correctly and make the correct inputs. A lot of it, I go off muscle memory off of Brawl where I don't need to feel it out, but all the new inputs like perfect pivoting, I can't get the sensitivity down because I can't tell how far or forward my hand is going anymore. Mechanically, I am as slow as a rock and also chemotherapy, one of the side effects is I can't remember dick. Really, a, a big thing is I, like, like high school, like, certain sen certain memories, I can, it's just not there, like, it's gone, completely, I have no idea what the fuck, shit, I, like, I, I have a hard time remembering day by day, let alone too far in the past, so, it's another shitty side effect, not to mention my brain's fried, so, like, we out here, right? Regardless, um, overall, I can't really complain too much. It's not like the end of the fucking world. Oh, turn this the fuck down. So, it's not the end of the world. I can't bitch because I survived cancer. But that's kind of like the sad situation. Now I have to live the rest of my life dealing with these symptoms. But there is hope, obviously, with enough working out, proper dieting, moving around, practicing. Maybe by summertime I can regain control of my feet again. My hands are slowly and slowly getting better. So, th th there is progress. It's just, um, you know, taking... A needle every single day for the rest of my life twice a day isn't fun I fuck that and then obviously um taking 18 giant pills for nerve medicine isn't fun because I don't want to take pills but whatever right like it's not the end of the world for me I can't really complain too hard considering that well now I'm cancer free right so <clears throat> What, what does this mean for the future? Obviously, I'm going to continue my dream of being the stream dream. Um, but, big but here. There are certain things I have, for example, a general manager now. Mari Rath does most of my managing. He's able to keep me up to date on things because I can't remember dick for shit. And he's able to help me out. And not to mention, he's going to be my traveling partner. Um, I need Mario to carry things for me. I can't carry shit. I have a cane motherfucker like i i just can't do it you know what i mean so that's another part of the situation right the sad truth of the whole situation so then um obviously there's certain things i'm just i'm permanently disabled now i'm gonna get my card eventually down the down the line but i'm gonna pay my taxes first because of you guys donating one hundred fifty thousand dollars um with the spring fling last year of 2016 I've had over $50,000 in copay, not to mention I outright bought out a 2015 Toyota Yaris just to get to and from the hospital and like obviously wherever I need to go because when you live in the woods of New York, that's, you know, that's just what you gotta do, brody. Like, no if ands, or buts, right? So, what does that actually mean? Uh, the, the biggest thing is that like, because you guys donated so much money, I have you guys to thank because... My parents don't have that kind of money and, you know, they have to pay, like, my brother has an extreme form of autism, so my my parents spend, you know, all their money on that on top of my little sister. My sister doesn't have that type of money, she's fucking broke, but even though she's working a good job, she's still fucking drowning from college debt still because, shout outs to the United States college system and pays and all that, regardless, it's not the point. The, the point is, that, like, everyone's fucking broke, right? And it's just the sad reality of the world. But thanks to you guys, I, I have money to do things now. So I'm going to make it back to you guys and, you know, definitely be the best entertainer I can, at least for the Smite community. And obviously, my overall goal is to be the best streamer I can be. 10,000 viewers per every single time I start the stream is the overall goal, at least for me. Now, what, does that mean I'll stop playing Smite? No, I'm just going to obviously branch off depending on the viewership and this, that, and the other, right? So, I joined LG. 
I was giving, like, Envy, Envy was cool about it, they were like, you know what, you do what you can, they haven't really, I have the sponsor perks, and that's really it, like, I'm not contracted by Envy or anything, so it was a pretty easy trade-off, LG, obviously, gonna give me salary, and sponsor perks, and this, that, and the other, just for being on Luminosity, so I'm excited for the opportunity, not to mention, I'm well-practiced in Smite, so because I'm well-practiced in Smite, um, I am hold value, I'm a fairly you know, I happen to be like the best player in the fucking world. And um yeah, that's that's kind of like the uh the situation. I'm kind of like the best player in the world. And that's it. So overall good things for 2017 so far, considering I spent most of 2016 in the hospital after winning worlds. Kind of just rebuilding my life now. So, um future plans, things, etc. Obviously I'm going to a lot of events, PAX East, e Evolution 2017. I'm um, going to be going to California to promote a game. I'm getting a new sponsorship soon. I have a t I have two t-shirts coming out and a website in the making, hopefully by later this year. So, like, that's pretty fucking Gucci, right? Like, we out here. Um, but, um, now, the bad news is, um, me and Michelle ended up getting back together and things just weren't the same. I, I we fight a lot and a whole bunch of bad relationship shit i'm not the best boyfriend in the fucking world i know that but um yeah no, we broke up again and this time it's 100 percent for good i realized that i am not happy with her and i can't deal and maybe i'm just better off alone and that's kind of where i'm at and i think now that i've accepted that i just need to be alone and like I just don't need that kind of drama that like it really was setting me back being so stressed out all the time through the relationship and fighting and getting mad and just not being happy and I was like like she's like well I changed but like that's not exactly what I wanted like she still really hasn't changed and obviously I'm not gonna bash her or anything say mean shit about her like I don't give a fucking shit like I think she's a great wonderful person just for not me and I think that's fine. And I think that I've changed 110%. Completely a different person since before cancer. Which is, I, I think, okay. Like, I, I don't think there's anything too wrong with that. Like, I'm, I definitely know that I'm different. But I know for a fact that I don't have any evil intent to you guys. Or wrongdoing. You know, I'm not going to be a murderer or some shit. I'm not some raging asshole actually i am a raging asshole but it's th it's the same amount as before i was a raging asshole before anyway so really i've changed but differently and i i don't think we're meant to be together and hopefully i hope to god that the human emotions don't come through here and i end up back with her but i really am gonna try to just stay away so i do apologize for people like yeah like let's go it's just it was my decision and I'm going to stick with it this time, 110%, and that that's it. Like, there's no if ands, or buts about it. And I may be a stubborn fuck, but I know what makes me not happy and what makes me actually happy. So, regardless, moving on from that, that, that is the bad news of the situation. Um, Goals right now, just to be the best streamer in the goddamn world. Be on the YouTube grind. Be on my PewDiePie shit. Meme. Try to be happy for the rest of my goddamn miserable fucking life. And, you know, people will be like, Wow, Allied, you're really sad. And of course I'm sad. I've lost my life 110% to cancer. I, Even though I won, I technically have still lost. There's no doubt about it. I've lost everything from just physical human motion control that people take for granted every single day to the fact that my stomach is eaten out alive. I, I barely can eat anymore. I've lost a severe amount of weight, dropped from 190 pounds to 149. Granted, I'm 162 pounds right now, which is why I'm looking a little bit healthier. But as you can imagine, um, I'm pushing myself to eat as best I can. If I didn't, I'd be Tostito Cappuccino. So, uh, like, the only thing that's really been the, in the positive, the only thing I can honestly say is just, well, the stream has been going well. That's, that's it. I have nothing positive to take from cancer, and it's a terrible, horrible disease that no one ever deserves to go through. And for every single time that you guys are, you know, when you get cancer, you have no idea how the fuck it is. Like, you're an ignorant piece of shit. Like, don't. 
don't wish cancer upon anyone and you know god bless everyone with cancer be doing a charity drive sometime this year probably to saint jude's for the children with cancer i've met so many children that have i've died i've known and died that have cancer one of the girls i met at one of the hospitals i was at for a long period of time died shortly after i was like you know out of you know out of the hospital died from like fucking ass cancer rectal cancer whatever the fuck it is like you know like it's it's a rough world but really if there's anything you're ever gonna take from this is just grab life by the fucking balls and you gotta be a fucking goddamn man like i am all right you gotta take life by the balls and this is probably where i've really changed and i realized that i can't just take the back seat on things anymore you gotta like fucking do it you gotta get up i gotta get up i gotta force myself to walk i gotta try to wiggle my toes i I gotta sit there and like fucking strain like i'm taking a goddamn shit just to wiggle a toe like are you fucking for real dude i gotta fucking man up i gotta beat everyone i gotta win there's no if answer but about uh, like about it it's survival of the fittest baby you can't be the number one streamer on twitch you gotta beat everyone and everyone on twitch this is shout outs to you guys you're all my fucking rivals and you're all gonna go down i promise you by the end of the year i'll be the t biggest streamer you'll ever fucking see in your life i don't care what the fuck i need to do it's a competitive market baby same thing for youtube same thing for everything else you gotta do in life you gotta tank life by the fucking balls and you gotta fucking rip that shit out and you gotta claim it as yours all right because no one's gonna hand you success no one's gonna help you recover no one you know how many people have hit me up while i was in the hospital i'll tell you less than three and it's not that you guys don't give a shit i understand the situation but that's how alone i felt i never felt so fucking alone in my goddamn life I've never felt so alone, and that's because I realize I'm the greatest person in the world, and I have to prove it to myself to really beat this fucking thing. Every single day, training regimens, eating schedules, taking pills, taking retarded fucking medicines. I use the R word, I apologize, but that's how bad it was. I have to use the R word. That's the only way to describe it. I have to use it in a negative fashion. I feel fucking terrible about it, but it's fucking true, dude. The whole situation was cancer. I lost my goddamn life. And this is the only way I know how to get it back. So obviously that's kind of the situation that I'm in. And obviously I'm eternally grateful for all of you guys that did support me. But I still know I wouldn't have done it if I didn't push myself. There's no fucking way. I would have died on the spot many times if I threw in the towel. But it's all a learning experience. And now with my new retained knowledge, I'll take life by the balls and be the best person I can be for the rest of my goddamn life. Whether it be 5 years, 10 years, 100 years, fucking live forever, Genji my shit doc, like we out here. Like, it doesn't matter. Do whatever the fuck you want. Technology's only getting better. Enjoy your 2017, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube. Sub follow my social media. Subscribe to my Twitch. Buy my shirt. Look at my website when it comes out. And that's it, guys. I'm out. Take it easy. Catch you guys on stream. Peace.